Marcucci. When I made a chair for Menor, I decorated the back with the nautically themed marquetry panel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can begin to include marquetry in some of your woodworking projects. Marquetry is a woodworking technique to create designs, patterns, and pictures using various colors of wood veneers. As a form of woodworking, it's over 3,000 years old. There are many ways to create marquetry pictures or patterns using knives, hand saws, or power saws. For this project, I chose to use the double bevel technique. I think it's a good technique for those of us who are just getting started with marquetry. It's easy to understand and requires the minimum outlay of tools and equipment. You don't need to buy any expensive tools to get started with marquetry. To get started, you'll need a ruler or straight edge and a pencil. Some cello or scotch tape and blue masking tape. An exacto knife and a utility knife. Tracing paper and carbon paper, which is available from your local office supply or art supply store. A self-healing cutting mat can be purchased from your local arts and crafts store. And you'll need to make a homemade cutting table, which you can clamp to your workbench or other flat surface. The only specialized tool that you'll need is a fret saw. These are not expensive and can be purchased from most woodworking stores. You'll also need some fret saw blades. I used a 4 aught fret saw blade, which I purchased from a jewelry supply store. Many woodworking retailers also sell fine fret saw blades suitable for marquetry. Of course, to get started with your marquetry project, you'll need some veneers. You can buy veneers at your local hardwood supplier. As well, many woodworking retailers have sample packages of veneers. That's what I used. These packs have many different kinds of both domestic and exotic wood veneers. And they give you a wide range of colors and grain patterns to choose from. That's more than enough to get started with your first marquetry project. The simplest form of cutting table is a board with a V-notch cut into it. This is called a bird's mouth. You simply clamp it to any flat surface and you're ready to go. I made my table from a leftover sink cutout from a laminate countertop and some three quarter inch plywood. Instead of the bird's mouth, it has a slot cut into it and a metal washer inserted flush to the table. It provides a larger surface to support the work and like the bird's mouth, it simply clamps to any tabletop surface. So let's get started cutting a marquetry pattern. We'll keep it simple here since our focus is on demonstrating the double bevel cutting technique. We'll cut a simple leaf pattern and we'll use a lighter colored wood for the background or field, some straight grained oak for the leaves, and the dark portion of this walnut for the stem. To begin the process, copy your pattern onto some tracing paper. And the next step is to transfer that pattern onto the light colored wood or the field. We put some registration marks on the tracing paper and the field so that we can align it at each step of the process. Insert your carbon paper and simply copy the pattern onto the field. Now we're ready to begin cutting. With the double bevel technique, both pieces are cut at the same time. The field piece is at the front and the part to be inlaid is inserted behind. It's best to cover both parts with some cello tape to hold the veneer together, especially where there are short grain situations. Then align your insert piece and tape it to the field with some blue masking tape. To insert the fret saw blade, 
you'll need to make a stab cut through both pieces of veneer. Try not to make the stab cut along a straight line. If possible, make the stab cut in a spot that will be cut away by a later piece. Insert the blade into your fret saw and clamp it down at the bottom. The blade is inserted with the teeth pointing downwards. You may not be able to see the teeth, but you can feel them when you run your finger along the blade. Now carefully insert the blade through the hole you made earlier in the veneer packet. Carefully slide it down. Insert the fret saw blade at the top and tighten it in place. Carefully insert the fret saw blade through the kerf in the cutting table. With gentle up and down strokes, cut in a counterclockwise direction with the fret saw tilted towards your body at 8 to 10 degrees. Rather than moving the fret saw forward, move the work into the saw blade. Follow your lines and cut all the way along the first piece. Now with your piece cut, carefully loosen the fret saw blade and remove it from the workpiece. The insert piece is inserted into the field from behind and attached with blue masking tape. Now you can peel off the scotch tape from before. Using the registration marks, reattach your tracing paper template. Insert the carbon paper and mark the second piece to be cut. Following the same process as before, align your second piece of veneer behind the field Cover both parts with scotch tape and attach the insert to the field with masking tape. Make your stab cut. And then attach the pieces to the fret saw. And using the same cutting technique, cut out for the second piece. With the piece reinserted into the fret saw, we can begin cutting the second piece. Remember, with the double bevel cutting technique, you move the saw in a counterclockwise direction and angle the blade toward your body. With the second half of the leaf inserted into the field, reattach the template insert the carbon paper and mark out for the stem.
attach the walnut in behind. Make your stab cut and you're ready to cut the third and final part of the marker tree pattern. Begin cutting the third and final piece, the walnut stem. Well, there you have it, a simple leaf cut out using the double bevel marquetry technique. You can use the same process to create much more complex pictures and patterns. So the next time you're considering a furniture project, think about adding some marquetry to your project.